All right, good morning on day five of my JJ trip. I'm waiting for Steph to get out of the bathroom and then we're getting a bus to Chonjeon Falls. Uh, we're going to the south side of the island today, seeing a bunch of waterfalls and going tangerine picking. Okay, we <laughs> made it to Chonjeon Falls. Um, well, we're actually off the bus and we're making our way to the falls now. Chonjeon is what they're called. So, fun thing, it actually is going to rain today, Yay. all today, um, kind of on and off. And we think tomorrow and the next day too. So our last three days in Jeju are going to be rainy. But that's actually not a bad thing because we are going to waterfalls and caves these next couple of days. Mm -hmm. We already did our beach days, so yeah. we wanted sun for those. But um, here we saw a sign that the waterfall here only really starts flowing water after a heavy rainfall. And this was the first heavy rainfall of the season here. So good thing for us actually. Right. So it looks like we uh, needed a little more rain <laughs> before we came here. <laughs> it's so small. Uh, but it's so pretty here. Look at how cool these rocks are. Okay, so that was the first one. Going to the second one now. I personally am also very happy that we are walking through shaded forest, like completely covered forest, on a cloudy day because the Jeju sun has left me a little crispy, a little, a little bit of a tomato. Um, I. I have very fun tan lines from the past couple of days and aloe vera has been my best friend. So today, good day for me. Yay, more waterfall. So we're heading to the third waterfall now, and oh, Steph and I are not climbers or hikers, so it's 500 meter, and then the steps get very steep when you get to the 400 meter point, and it's also very slippery when it rains. It's currently raining. <laughs> so we're gonna have a wonderful time. There's a snail! He's so cool. We're on our way. We made it to the third waterfall. Uh, it's raining now, <laughs> like pretty heavily. So, yeah. Yay, Yay. we're here. <laughs> it's very wet right now. <laughs> we're leaving, it's wet. But now we have to walk up all the stairs we came down. <laughs> and they're wet, so. I know, we're uh, And then I think we're just getting on a bus and going to our next site, which we'll tell you guys what it is after because we have to check what it is. <laughs> we're waiting for the bus right now, but I want to show you guys. No! My socks! Oh no! Okay, well, I got tangerine socks here and we were stepping on some berries on the way here and I got a stain, but here are my tangerine socks and I'll have a surprise later. I have a tangerine hat. We're at our next thing, which is some cliffs. <laughs> it's actually a pretty difficult Korean name and I've been messing up all of the Korean names of everything for the past few days. Uh, but I will show you a map. There's also multiple things we wanted to see here. So um, yeah, I'll try to include all of them. We are here, we're at the Depo Coast and we're seeing the columnar joints. Yeah, that's what it looks like on a map. This is what we're here for. <laughs> yeah, Jusangjolide, Jusangjolide. Let's go.
so we were saying we're kind of happy that it's raining today even though it's a little <laughs> little messy but we're saying it's we're happy it's a little rainy and a little stormy today because the ocean uh, is acting up against the rocks here and it's really really beautiful it's really cool to watch rain and wind is starting to pick up but we're going to go get a snack slash lunch and then we're gonna head to a temple actually Yakchonsa, Yakchonsa Temple, I think is what it's called. Okay, so these are the socks. My tangerine socks. And then... <laughs> it's so cute! Look at this hat! It's a little tangerine! So this is my... This is my Jeju fit. <laughs> Am I just standing there? <laughs> Here it's Tangerine by Woot Woot! Oh my god. <laughs> we look cute. But we made it to the temple and we drove up to it in a taxi. Oh my god, it's massive. You guys will see in like two seconds. We're at this temple. We found some naturally occurring orange trees and we're gonna take some pictures. We got part of the temple over there and that's beautiful on its own, but then you pan over here and oh my god, on camera, you can't even understand how big this is. For an idea, uh, those are cars and people for scale. They got little elephants everywhere. Back there too. Little elephants. Little elephants. So this temple is actually pretty recently built. It was originally a small temple during the Japanese occupation period, but it was rebuilt in the 80s to be this massive, gorgeous thing. <laughs> the ladies right there are laughing at our hats, we can tell because they said tangerine, <laughs> but um, basically, okay, so all of the Buddhist um, temples we've been to here have these gorgeous massive Buddhas and lanterns hanging on the ceiling. We don't really go into the temples because there are people praying and we're unsure of how to do that respectfully, like be inside respectfully. Uh, we don't know the practices so we just admire from afar but you can see a person right there at the left side of the screen. So look at the statues compared to the size of a normal human being and just how gorgeously big they are. And the, the dragons on the pillars, oh my goodness. And the temple overlooks the ocean. It's so gorgeous here. There's a really gorgeous painted drum in there. We can't get up there, but you can kind of see how colorful it is. And then there's the bell that um, all temples here have. All right, so we're leaving the temple now and we're heading to a tangerine farm, actually, so we can pick our own. Update, it was closed. Um, we were scared this was going to happen. Actually, tangerine season is October through January. Here are tangerine plants. So you can see there are no tangerines, but we specifically chose a uh, farm that was indoors. There it is in hopes that um, they'd be able to grow them inside even out of season, but it's closed. We're going to walk to one that's nearby, see if they can give us anything, but if not, we'll just move on. Uh, that's not really within our control. It's just tangerines are out of season. Like that's it. 
and now we look stupid, stupid because we're in the middle of nowhere walking around with like fucking tangerine hat. We're we're not in a tourist part of Jeju right now. We're in like a residential farm area and we're obviously two foreigners walking around with tangerine hats on. <laughs> so uh, these two guys just like walked out of their job and we're staring hard and when cars pass us we can see people looking, looking at us looking real hard we but start taking this shit off but anyways we're we're going to our next thing update we took our hats off because we were getting stared at and now we're just gonna go to the next thing i forget what it is i think it's uh we're going to like natural pools and some more waterfalls we're here now we're gonna see this big rock It's a very cliffy day for us. Um, there it is, there's the rock. And of course, as soon as we get somewhere where we need to stand in the open, it starts raining again. I noticed today when we were looking at the cliffs, um, the places we've been today, even here, the water is so blue. Um, we went to the beaches a couple days ago and the water was gorgeous, like absolutely blue, teal, green, this amazing color. And even here, it's blue. All right, so that was a cool rock. We're on our way to Hangguji Beach where there's um, some natural pools and apparently a cave. We so have to walk there. We are going to walk there because it's a one minute drive, but a 20 minute walk. So, so <laughs> see you then. We're just using the um, this trail to walk along the coast to the next thing. And we found a different angle of the big rock. Found another friend. So slow. Yeah. We made it. There are people swimming right there. I don't know if they should be, but hey, these pools are shaped like a smiley face. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. Uh, it's very rocky. On a dry day, we would go walk around and take pictures and videos and stuff, but uh, the stairs coming down here were very slippery and very wet, and we're just going to be mindful of the rocks, and we're choosing not to uh, go any further to look at the pools so we don't fall and break our heads open. So we're going to move on to the next thing. We'll let you know what that is when we know. Oh, by the way, this was... Um, we're at Hongguji Natural Ponds. On to the next. Getting a taxi to Chongbang Falls. Very stressful. Yes. Very, very stressful. Uh, we, wouldn't, we couldn't get a taxi for like what, five minutes? We couldn't get a taxi for a while and it's 5.20 and they close at six, but it's way too far of a walk. Mm -hmm. And the, the um, public transport is very inconsistent here, so taxi is the way to go. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll check in when we get there. Okay, so there's lots and lots of people here. Someone having a wedding photo shoot, I think. But here's what it looks like. Okay, they're Hanyo right there. That's really cool. They went fishing and now they're eating. So we talked about the Hanyo in another one of our vlogs, but they're the sea women of Jeju. It's a whole thing. There are women in Jeju, specifically women who go diving for food uh, without oxygen masks. And it's a cultural heritage of Korea. So yeah, really cool. All right, we're heading back now. We saw everything we wanted to see today and we'll update you on what we're doing for dinner. We 
got black pork barbecue Yay. again. It was really good again. Now I saw this ice cream while we were taking money out at 7-Eleven. It's peanut and dragon fruit ice cream crunch and she got peach but <laughs> uh thing in jj was peanut ice cream uh we had it the other day it's like it's really good uh food that jj was famous for and then it's a tropical island so i assume that's dragon fruit looks like dragon fruit um we'll try this and see what that's like okay <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um. Wait. Can you see the inside? Okay, just like the picture. It tastes like so much and nothing <laughs> all at once. <laughs> wait, wait, take a bite. Right? It has so many flavors, but no flavors. I'm so confused. What is in my mouth? <laughs> you know that ice cream we have at home? <laughs> it's like... Which one? <laughs> it's very similar to this type of outline, like outside. But yeah. like it have the strawberry flavor and then they have the chocolate flavor. Yeah. So it tastes like that one. On the outside, but then the inside, inside just doesn't taste yeah. like that. Yeah, very. Girl, are you just eating my ice cream? No, I, took, I took a little bit. <laughs> it, it's, it's not a taste you can describe. Yeah, it like, to me, it literally doesn't taste like anything in particular. Yeah, it's like there's chocolate and there's peanut. I think. And then there's, I don't taste the fruit. It's like, it's supposed to be like Oreo crumbs on the outside. It doesn't really taste like Oreos. The peanuts really f nice. The um, peanuts are really faint and then the inside isn't even anything there. But mm -hmm. anyways, we had a good day today, <laughs> even though it, it rained a lot. Yeah, it was very stressful at a certain point. We kind of just like gave out. It was really stressful. like getting places and we were wet and we were cold but we saw things that we really wanted to see yeah. and I got to wear my socks and my hat <laughs> so yeah it was a good day uh we'll see you guys back for day six tomorrow yeah.